Hi, it's Amy Keast at amykeast.com, and today I wanted to talk to you about ascension symptoms or more specifically spiritual awakening symptoms. There's a lot of people out there that are experiencing the symptoms of your vibration rising to um, a new level. You're opening up to spirit energy and um, I'll give you a list of symptoms that I'm familiar with because it's things that I've experienced over the last, I'm going to say three years or so. And, and then in another video, I can go over and tell you what you can do to help manage those symptoms because it, it is a little annoying. So, um, first of all, just a little background about the spiritual awakening. Usually you'll know that something's changed in your life, something's different, and but you can't quite put your finger on it. This is usually just a sign that you're in that process of your spiritual awakening. And usually what, what I mean by that is um, what's going on in your life is not okay anymore. It's um, you're, you're searching for maybe the right thing to be doing, something different. It could be either relational, it could be in your job, it could be just where you fit into the world, society. So those things are just kind of like um, a little nod that things have changed for you and you're, you're looking to make things to make things better. So, and this has nothing to do with money. This has nothing to do with, um, you know, like status and ego and things. These are things that are, I would call your spiritual truth. So, um, just for example, um, if you're experiencing that, if you're going through this, this change, this, this vibrational uplifting, um, one thing that you may notice, and it seems to be pretty prevalent is people have a lot of body aches. Um, a lot of, um, sometimes it's in the shoulders, the back, it's just kind of all over the place. And some people think, well, I have arthritis or I have, um, you know, you try to find a reason for it, but it kind of comes and goes. So that would be, that's a sign that's pretty prevalent of, you know, that you're in an ascension type of a process. Another thing is poor sleeping habits. Uh, I'm going to say right now that it's pretty prevalent that I'll sleep for maybe two or three hours and then I'll wake up. Sometimes I can go right back to sleep. Other times I'm, it's like it's time to get up. So it's never go to bed, sleep all night, wake up. This has been going on now for years for me. Um, it's not that I'm tired so much in the morning. It's just annoying. One of those things. And then the other thing is I can take a nap and I'm not a napping kind of person. I can just fall asleep for just a little bit and it seems like I'm not really sleeping and I'm just, it's kind of like a, a dreamy state you're in. And so that's not a routine thing for me to do, but it is something that I've noticed that that's happening. So it's a change in, in sleep habits. Another thing is you might notice sparkles, um, light light things. Um, it's kind of hard for me to explain, but you know, if when you get up too fast and you see, you know, you kind of see stars because you you just got up too fast. Um, you might notice that just in everyday life routine, you might see like these little flickers of light. You might see something out of the corner of your eye. It's when your vibration rises, you're susceptible to other types of energy. And so you're picking up on that. You're seeing these things. And then you'll, you kind of notice it, but you're afraid to say, did you see that? So I just keep it to myself because that's just the way I am. Another thing that you might notice um, if you are in an awakening period is that you're having difficulties with your weight. And that could be difficulties um, losing weight or gaining weight. Something like this, it's a, it's a temporary thing though. I just want to tell you that. It's just, you could not, you could be eating all the right things. You could be exercising and stuff. And still you're having this weight, um, either a weight gain or not being able to lose weight, you know, something like that. It's just, um, this is part of the vibrational shift. It's not permanent. It's just 
I'm just going to say it's where you are right now. So just hang on. Don't worry about that too much. Another thing that you'll notice is some pretty intense changes in body temperature. Now, I'm typically cold. Um, I usually have a sweatshirt with me when I go in, in and out of the hot and cold. It could be 90 degrees outside, and I have a sweatshirt with me because I get cold, especially with air conditioning. So you'll notice that you're cold. In fact, you're really cold. And then all of a sudden, um, you could be extremely hot. And I notice that my hands, like, almost sweat. They're so hot. They're hot to touch. I could put my hands on something and and then the next minute they're it's gone. And this is just kind of a routine thing. I don't typically break out in a sweat or anything. It's just kind of like a fluctuating bo body temperature. Um, so uh, some people say, oh, that's menopause. Well, I've had those symptoms before as well. It's not menopause. This is a fluctuating body temperature. Um, when you're in menopause, your body doesn't get cold. So, um, so it's just, it's different. So if you've noticed that, um, that could be a sign that, you know, you're going through your spiritual awakening period. Um, also I've noticed that my body has some type of vibrational buzzing going on. Sometimes it's in my feet. Sometimes it's in my abdomen or like my pelvis area. Um, sometimes it's in my head. Sometimes it's like a tingling sensation. That's another prevalent sign. I I've never noticed this like 10 years ago. It's just all been in the last two or three years. And it that happens to me pretty routinely. I don't even really notice it so much. It's not even bothersome. It's just happening. And then also um, vivid dreams. Vivid dreams are another sign that you're going through an awakening. If you're having lots of periods of you know, intense dreaming, just another sign. And then I think I touched on this at the beginning. Usually a spiritual awakening is accompanied by um, some type of dissatisfaction in your life. And it usually has to do with, like I said, your work, um, a relationship, something in your life that you're no longer, you're no longer okay with. It's not, you know, maybe 10 years or 20 years ago, you're like, oh, this, I would I would love to live like that. But now something's changed and you can't really put your finger on it and it's time for that to go away. So these are just a couple of the symptoms that I've had and you know I just want to share them with you so maybe you, you're experiencing that and you're not really sure what's going on. And unfortunately this has been going on for me for several years now so hopefully the end is in sight. So if you'd like to have a reading or an energy session with me, I'd love to hear from you and you can contact me at amykeese.com. See you next time.